maximizing the reach that, that we have. And so, <laughs> again, feel free to ask questions if you have them. I'm going to draw a picture. I like to, it's a, a synesthesia thing. I like to, to see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to draw a picture of a social media strategy as I see it. So one, it starts with the work. And that's going to be a really common theme for at least my portion of today in that social media is not any type of magic key to do anything. It only amplifies what you're already doing. It only maximizes your reach. So, I'll, I'll wait on that. I was going to say something else. Um, so the work, again, if you're an organization, if you're an individual, if you're a campaign, whatever, this is the foundation off which everything else is built. And if you try to have a social media presence without having a firm foundation, it just doesn't matter. It's not going to work. It's not going to be sustainable. <laughs> it's obvious, but it's really important to keep in mind. Um, the next kind of level of this diagram, and look, this isn't a picture of something. It's just kind of an abstract thing. So don't worry. It doesn't make any sense. Um, I think of this as the hub. Like the next level of foundation is your hub. And your hub might be a website. Like your main primary website that you had built or that you built yourself. Maybe it's a WordPress blog. Maybe it's a blogger blog. My website that I've used for the past 10 years is just a blogger site. Um, it's not the most beautiful thing in the world. It doesn't have like fancy flash animation, but it's, it's, it does the job. It's free. I pay $10 a year for the domain and that's it. It's very user friendly. It has everything I would need. The hub is where um, anyone who wants any information about you would be able to find it there. So contact information, uh, your mission statement for your organization, like what you do, um, different, you know, whatever you think is relevant for people. And so now we get into social media. And the, there are a million social media platforms going on right now. I'm going to highlight the ones that, that I think are the most important. Um, I'm trying to, I, don't, I don't need to be that humble. They're not the ones that I think are most important, the ones that are most important. Um, number one, and it's the, the biggest section on this diagram, is Facebook. Um, I'll, I'll draw the levels and then we can go back and talk about them. Number two would be Twitter. And then over here, I think we could also put Tumblr. And if you don't know what all these things are, we'll talk about them. At the top up here, I would put um, Instagram and YouTube. YouTube. And then kind of as like decorations on top, um, let's say Vimeo, uh, LinkedIn, MySpace, <laughs> um, and any others people think of? Pinterest. Pinterest. Oh, that's a good one. That was even on my list. But SoundCloud. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Um, I put Pinterest up here too. So for blogs, um, so a WordPress blog, a blogger blog. I like to think of that philosophically as part of this. Um, whether that blog is your primary website or if it's integrated into your primary website. One thing that I think is a, a, the opposite of a best practice is when you have a website and a separate link to, your, to a blog. Like I understand sometimes you have to do that just in terms of separating content or whatever, but generally I think your primary website has your blog as a component of it. But you can disagree, we can talk about that later. So this might be a very confusing um, picture right here. But I think 